take a look around, folks. Crowds of cars and people on all sides. Delicious and exotic barbecue flavors in the air. Bright lights and colorful signs in every corner. Not to mention there's construction on almost every building. If Jiansha Road ain't Chengdu, I'm not sure what is. The best food found in the city is in holes in the walls. And Jiansha Alley is the hole in the wall street of Chengdu. In America, we refer to holes in the walls as dirty little cramped shops with delicious local food. This road must be the reason why I've heard it said, Zai Chengdu mei shi shi chi guanda, meaning that in Chengdu, you're never finished eating. When you come to Jiansha Road, it's not just eating dinner at a restaurant and calling it a night. This place is all about starting it off with a few street stall appetizers, popping into a restaurant or two, and then finishing off the night with a sweet drink and dessert. But don't just take it from me. Take a listen to what the locals have to say about Jiansha Road. Shama Yuan Yin, Xi Huan Jiansha. Because you eat it first. Why is Chengdu the most important place in Chengdu? Because people are eating it for a long time. Some people are showing it to young people. 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 我觉得这个地方第一个就是它有很多吃的，这些吃的吧都是成都比较，因为成都就是一个小吃很多的地方，而且而这个地方呢是聚集了很多小吃。可可能可能之前是这地方是一个集市吧，所以慢慢的发展，而且因为这个地方有一个大学，所以说学生消费能力比较强的人群在这边比较多。所以慢慢的，可能一开始只有几家店，然后慢慢的，因为消费能力的水平，所以更多的店被在这边开展。All right, everyone. So we've made it to our first stop here. This is the most popular food stall on the street, and it's like a burrito kind of. And the wrapping is made of a sweet potato powder. I tell you what, from the first bite, you get that paper, that bready sweet potato. It's very chewy outside. That's just packed with spice. And then you get more deeper into it, and you get a nice balance of meat. We ordered the beef one and different vegetables. They've got some pickles and different Chinese like spices. Little vegetables. Okay, so this is our second stop of the day. Stinky tofu. I just have to say, the way they make it, they open it up and then they fill it with all kinds of lava and chili and vegetables. So it's packed with spice and flavor. It's just like an explosion in your mouth. So our third stop was this spicy seafood, and we could just basically take some from a bunch of different tubs. Each tub had a different kind of seafood, and so we're just finishing that up. And this one, not too big a fan of. It's just too exotic for me. This has been marinating, and it's a little bit cold and slimy, and it's got that ocean flavor. After three rounds of pure spiciness, we needed a little breather, a little ice cooler. So we've come over here to Mango Ice. It's empty right now. We're the only customers here. I guess it's a little bit early to be enjoying desserts, but we ordered this mango yogurt with some rice balls and some oats. I have to say the mango is really good. The mango is perfectly ripe. When it comes to shaved ice, the main fun of it is just playing with it. And we got the oats, so it's like gooey. And icy, and mixing it in, and then putting that ice flavor in your mouth, and then getting chewiness with the rice balls, and it hit the spot after all that explosion of spiciness in my mouth. But being able to handle spice ain't the only challenge of Jiansha Road. If you haven't noticed yet, the construction around here is insane. To get to each stall. You have to traverse through a maze of metal bars. I've never seen these kind of crowds in an area with so much heavy construction. Okay, folks, so take a look at Jen Mei Wei. I just ordered two things from this little stand, and both of them had these crazy funky textures. The first was onion wrapped in pig intestine, so it was just a big, thick song, which is like a kind of like I guess green onion wrapped in this chewy pig intestine. And of course, the onion is very hard and crunchy, and then the pig intestine outside. 
inside is chewy so it's a very interesting mix and then after that I enjoyed this wrap this spicy pickled radish wrap and again that was a whole jumble of different textures you've got the radish which is just pure crunch and then most of the wrap was just crunchy kind of bread but then it had a part of it which was just gooey and very chewy and kind of a, a little sweet now I'm standing in front of Xiao Achi, where I've ordered some delicious shrimp balls. The shrimp balls are, are the perfect texture. They're not too bouncy, just chewy enough. And then they're dosed in this greasy oil and topped along with some scallions, uh, chili, and lots and lots of garlic. All right, time to balance out the flavors with a little sweetness. I just ordered from this drink shop, this avocado coconut kale drink. But it's really good. This is probably my favorite so far. It's got a little bit of a greens vegetable juicy flavor with the avocado and the kale but it's overpowered by the just sweetness of the coconut milk but there's also this coconut kind of jelly in it just really sweet really smooth really delicious so it's nice to know that it's not just all Chinese food here that Jianchalu is representing international food very well as well we just ate at this Thai food stand uh, had some noodles which I believe are tum yum and it's actually the best tum yum that I can remember having just really good really spicy really sour a great combination of flavors and I'm excited to let you all know about my favorite meal so far of Jian Shalu. this is chicken stuffed with rice and corn and it's just super delicious the chicken the skin is really crispy really good kind of barbecue flavor it's got the perfect amount of chewiness it's very convenient I just take a bite and my mouth is already full of chicken and plenty of rice we have found the most popping auntie on all the Chinese social media here. She she has a stand in Jiansha Lu. Chingwen, uh, you are here for how many years? For 20 years. 20 years she's been working here she's had this stall here so we ordered this beef tongue waffle wrap here. the outside is, is like a waffle almost it's just really soft and then the inside the beef tongue it's really good it's it tastes like it's been cured and marinated for a while it's some good meat when you stop by Jen Chalu, make sure to pay a visit to auntie here so I've just popped a squat, a very tiny chair, in front of this noodle shop. So I ordered these thick, kind of transparent, very chewy noodles. And I guess they like to torture you here in Sichuan, because it's a very common to have these kind of noodles inside this just red liquid lava. So they want you to chew every last bit of spiciness. But it's really good, really flavorful. And it's also got some minced meat, which is in there and soaks up the flavor and the juices. All right, so I'm getting ready to finish off this third after noon round but the last meal I just had were these delicious bao buns and I love how they're made this guy in this huge steamer just puts a bunch of these bao buns in and puts in some liquid and then they just steam for a while but as soon as I took a bite into it oil spurted out everywhere so got to be a little bit careful but it was really fresh and the meat was just really packed with flavor all right, so now time for the grand finale. I believe the best food to be had on Jian Shalu is in this barbecue restaurant right behind me. So the way most barbecue places that I know of in Chengdu work is that they have this assortment of different meat and veggies on sticks, and you choose what you want and then hand it to some of the waitress staff, and then they'll give it to the cooks to cook it, and you're good to go. All right, let's take a bite. Oh yeah, I love this one. It's just like pure fat, just like bacon, basically. Oh yeah, it's like butter, butter in your mouth. This meat is just something else. It's got perfect amount of fat, the perfect amount of crispiness, and it's just so dense in flavor. Even the bread, which they put at the bottom to soak up all the meaty juices, is full of flavor. So if you're gonna come to Jensha Road and you're only gonna stop at one place to eat, I recommend you come to this restaurant. I'll put the details for this restaurant as well as all the other places I've eaten at Jian Lu in the description below. I used to live down the street from Jian Road, so I used to come here pretty often. A lot of the food here is really good, but as you've probably noticed, some of the foods here are quite outside my comfort zone. But I want you to remember that Jian Lu is more than just a food hub. It's a full experience that engages all the senses in a perfect one-of-a-kind representation for this city considered to be one of China's food capitals. If you're interested in more videos breaking down the city of Chengdu and its beautiful attractions, click here. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.